talk about how I lost 20 pounds. I'm so excited. It's been a long road, but yes, I finally lost 20 pounds. Uh, my weigh-in was 169. At the beginning of this year, I was 189.4, I believe. They just say 189 just to be safe. But yes, I'm officially 20 pounds down, and I just wanted to share with y'all what I did to lose those 20 pounds. First, the biggest thing is eating. I start moderating everything that I ate, so I eat in moderation. Um, I'm not following any particular diet, so you know, I'm not low carb or low fat, no sugar, vegan, or anything like that. I just basically ate what I wanted to eat, but I just ate it in smaller portions, you know. Um, I didn't eat like big plates of food like I used to. I cut down a lot. And even like, I'm not even gonna lie, I still eat out a lot. I still go to fast food and different restaurants. But even when I go there, I try to find a healthier option. Or if I do eat there, maybe eat like half and take the rest home and eat it the next day. So that's the biggest. And also, another thing that I did is that I started to cook at home more yes home meals you don't realize how many calories you are saving when you cook at home and overall just healthier because you know when you go out you really don't know what they put it in the food so it's just a healthier option to eat at home so of course you know I made my breakfast I made my lunch made my dinners had my snacks here so I wouldn't overdo it so that was biggest thing was making my foods at home Number two was definitely exercising. That's the biggest thing also. Eating is number one, but two, you also gotta move around also. So with me, I decided to do some more exercises. And if you follow my channel, you know that I kind of switched from working out at the gym to home because of my piercings. But I didn't let that be a reason to stop exercising. I just started doing it more at home because I'm trying to find some headphones to fit over my ears okay they won't affect you know my piercings that I have so yes I switched to home workouts um, I was doing less meals workouts here at home I was doing beach body workouts here I also was doing um, workouts from fellow youtubers that's here on YouTube um, doing their workouts here at home also you know the important thing is I was just really trying to move some days it would just be walking and then some days it would be strength training some days it would be just hit you know but the biggest thing is I just wanted to exercise get that heart rate up because that also helped with my weight loss also another thing I would say tip number three is patience yes like I said I started my weight loss journey fitness journey in January and now it is almost August and I just lost 20 pounds to me I'm proud of myself but I know for some people some people think that you can lose that amount of pounds in one month or two months but just take your time take it day by day even with these months I messed up a lot but you know I just pick myself up and just started back over you know I'm not gonna lie some days I did you know have a full day of cheat meals or some days I'll go by without exercising but just don't let yourself stay in that slump just pick yourself up as I say sometimes it might take you a few days or it might take you each week but as I said just be patient with yourself move at the pace that you want to move in but I would say was just don't put too many too much pressure on yourself you know don't try to do like I want to lose five or ten pounds a week and cool some people can do that but with me I just kept it simple half pound a week you know if I get a pound or more cool if not I'm okay even with that some weeks I didn't lose weight but you know as I said don't beat yourself up just try to do the best that you can Tip number four, I would say it's important to use a scale, but don't let that just um, determine everything with your progress. And what I mean by that is sometimes when I would go on the scale and it wasn't what I wanted to see, sometimes I would take a measuring tape and measure my inches and I see it there. And then sometimes it could be just you had those non scale victories. Like I have her pants that was fitting tight and now I notice that they're. Um, more loose or when I do an exercise I know that I'm stronger with the move I can do more push-ups or I can run longer so just because when you look on the scale it might say one thing don't let that you know end your fitness journey or end your weight loss journey because hey as I said just because scale say one thing doesn't mean that your body's actually transforming 
And then tip number five, I would say that, you know, like I guess, kind of going off my other tip would just be patience. Just know that there is things out there that's gonna tell you that you can do this and do that and you can lose weight fast. And what I'm talking about, like the flat tees, the fit tees, the waist trainers, the, you know, everything. I, I'm sure y'all know I'm getting that, but I'm not saying that those stuff doesn't work. I'm sure if it didn't work, I mean, I'm sure if I say if it didn't work, it'd be many people to come and say, well, I did this and it worked fine, I did this. I'm not saying that it's not going to work. Just don't think that's gonna last forever. That's why I said, just kind of think about it. It's, it's a good tool for some people to use. I mean, personally, I don't use, you know, like the fit tees, the diet pills, or anything like that. But if you do, just kind of use it as a tool. Don't use it as, you know, I'm gonna take this and it's just gonna make me lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, and that's all I have to do. Because no, even with all that stuff, it still say you have to eat right. You still have to exercise and everything. And then some of those stuff too, you know, you need to check with your doctor with that. Because I know a lot of people just be taking stuff and you don't even know how it's affecting your health. I mean, that's just my opinion on it. But I would say if you use it and it does work for you, just kind of know that it's a tool. And maybe it might be a short-term tool. But also, just kind of think about long-term. Like, are you going to be using that for forever? This kind of, you know, something to think about because that's how I think with some of that stuff. Like, if if I start using it, you know, do I have to take the stuff forever to keep my weight down or is it just temporary? So, just a quick thought. But, guys, yes, that's it. That is what I did to lose 20 pounds. I mean, pretty easy. Just eating right, exercising. Biggest thing is being patient. I think that's kind of what a lot of people when they start like a fitness journey or a weight loss journey you know they want it right now and it's not going to happen right now just kind of think of it because i you know i hear people say all the time you know you didn't put on all that weight in one day so you're not going to lose that weight in one day so just take your time with it like for me i'm still not done you know i'm not having reached all my goals i'm just happy that what i achieved so far but i'm still working and um because my ultimate goal may be to get down to maybe 150 pounds if i get there great if not i'm happy where i'm at right now but you know just always have a goal to reach for so just be patient with yourself but if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below that's what i'm not a doctor but i can tell you the things that I did to help me out and and also if you just need any type of motivation you know I'm there I, I follow a lot of you guys on here because y'all give me motivation when I see y'all working hard and when y'all come and make videos about your stories or you know of how you getting through your stuff so that motivates me so please keep that going don't stop and also come over here and help me and help motivate me also <laughs> And you guys, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.